Today, I'm going to show you how you can install some adjustable shelving using the Craig adjustable shelf pin jig. All right, guys, what is up? This is the Craig uh, shelf jig, shelf pin jig. Sorry. Um, and it's for making all the little holes on the adjustable shelf. So that's what we're doing today. Um, we've got this area back here where we want to put some adjustable shelves. And this is supposed to make it easier to do that, make them evenly spaced. So this is the actual jig came with the drill bit and a couple other little things and then it also came with an attachment you can use this on faceless uh, cabinets and also the ones with the face on it um, so it comes with a little adjustment edge that you can add on here the drill guides are centered at one and a quarter inch 32 millimeter spacing and it features a lifetime warranty this is what they say you can also this little attachment you can get multiple and string them together if you want to do a long run but you can also just, it comes with this little shelf pin that you drill the first one and then you use that little pin to continue on down the line, which is what we're gonna do. I don't want any more holes up here, so I'm just gonna do the bottom one. All right, and there's my first one. And then I'll use this little bit. in there to hold it and then I can continue the only thing I did forget to set was my depth guide on here so I'm going to set that right now all right guys and so this little thing I forgot to put on is just to let you know when to stop okay so it needs to be at the edge of that all right so we're just making sure oops, but we're just making sure that our drill bit is gonna end right at the edge of one of these. We don't want it to go too too far. There, got that set. All right, we'll bring this back over here and we'll use our first hole as a guide. This little pin right here is what's gonna hold it in place and then we're just gonna go right down the line. All right, so you can use a clamp to hold this down if you need it so it doesn't move around i just held it down with my hand and it worked perfectly fine it doesn't take that much pressure to keep it in place all right and then again we'll just use the same one put in the bottom hole and just work our way down All right, there's our first row, and now we're just gonna repeat it one, two, three more times, and then we'll go out and cut the shelves. No! My battery's dead. Now we're gonna go outside and cut the shelving out. All right guys, we're here at the table saw. Let's get this cut. All right, we're using MDF and we're just gonna cut it down to size. With the table saw, you can use wood, you can use plywood, whatever you wanna use for your shelving. Um, we're just using MDF because it's just for now gonna be just for shoes and little kid shoes and boots and stuff like that. So that's what we're doing.
see if this one first one fits before we cut the rest. In the midst of the construction and workday heat, guys, stay fresh and invigorated with the Happy Nuts Man Slap Bar of Soap. Experience the power of its energizing citrus blend packed with essential nutrients like vitamin E and antioxidants. It's a tough soap for tough workers like yourselves. Hydrate and soothe your skin as you wash away the day's grime. Man Slap No Blue Balls Soap Bar, the ultimate shower restock this summer, guys. Link in the description down below. But yeah, after that, you drilled your holes, got your shelf cut. All you're gonna need are the shelf pins, which we just bought a big pack. And these are the little things you see on your cabinets and stuff that hold the thing. So then we'll just put one, two, three, four, we'll go down five. All right, so after we put in the first little uh, shelf pegs, then we brought the shelf in and we put it in, it was a little bit snug, so I kind of had to use a hammer to tap it into place. There it is, guys. We have our shelf. And now we can adjust them and move them. This is a little bit tight, so we're gonna have to shave down a little bit, but we'll get the rest of them in here. But yeah, and now we can move them if we want them in different spaces right now. A little longer than a few minutes later. There it is, guys. We've got our shelves. I think I'm gonna add maybe two more and kind of rearrange this a little, but it looks good. We're just gonna use this for shoes. So, when you come in the house, you put your crusty shoes in here and you don't have to walk inside with your crusty shoes. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like, that subscribe if you like it, on cloud if you wanna sponsor me. I'm a fan my first pair and I use them for everything. They were supposed to be my nice shoes. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hit that like, that subscribe down below if you like and if you wanna subscribe and see more and we'll see you guys next time. All right, and just a little bit of footage of me prepping and painting them. Uh, we're primering them here. But yeah, they're gonna work out great. It's gonna look good and nice little place to put our shoes and our boots when we walk in the house.